What's up everybody, Slay and Asher here, bringing you the next episode in my Let's Play of Final Fantasy VI. As you can see, we are picking up pretty much right where we left off on the last episode. Some time has elapsed because I never turned the game off. I walked away and made myself a sandwich to eat, drank a couple bottles of water, and came back. So, with that being said, now we're going to pick our first scenario. Now, for me, I've always done these in a very specific order, and for the purposes of this LP, it's going to stay that way. So I'm going to go ahead and walk over here, and go over to Locke, and get his scenario started. Locke has worked hard to stymie the efforts of the Imperial troops, but now he desperately needs to escape. Nuts! Gotta get to Narshi on the fly. Or Narsh. Not really sure how you pronounce it. I think I've been saying Narsh for a while, so I'm just gonna stick with that. Anyway, like I said, with that air lancet... You equip that. His heavy shield. His plumed hat. His kung fu suit. He completely gets de-equipped when the scenario starts. It's really kinda dumb. Okay, now go back to his relics. See, if I wanted to do one weapon can be held with one weapon can be held with two hands to increase damage, it would boost the attack power, but I prefer sticking with protect them against poison. Let's give him the goggles again. Alright. So with that being done, it's time to explore around town a little bit. Now again, I'm doing this off memory. I haven't looked at a walkthrough, so I'm just taking a look around, basically. Well, look at that. Uber convenient. They give us a save point right there. Let's go ahead and save. Save it in slot one. We're going to overwrite the MOG save. And boom, we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and cause some trouble here in South Figaro. Now, if I'm not mistaken, first I need to go see that merchant I mentioned a few episodes ago. So... Nothing. Nuts. Okay, so... I'm gonna head this way. As you can tell, Magitek Arbor is blocking the path. There's only so many ways you can go. I don't like strangers. Bring me some cider and maybe I'll talk to you. It's important. We gotta go get this old man some cider. Now. My grandfather was a servant for the richest man in town. Only people dressed as merchants may pass through. See? We need the cider and we need to go find said merchant. So let's go track both down. Okay, we know it's not over there in Duncan's house. Here in the item shop. Guess who we got here? You're that thief, Locke, aren't you? Hey, call me a treasure hunter or I'll rip your lungs out. See, kind of violent for its time. Now, I know I've said in other battles that the Steel Command is useless, but it actually has a use in this fight. You steal? Couldn't steal. Of course he couldn't steal. That would be too easy. Anyway, like I was saying, Steel actually has a use in this fight. Take two, let's see. Stole a Guardian times one. Stole his clothing too. Here we go. These are a little tight, but the price was right. <whistles> Escape. As you can see, his enemy name changed to B-Day Suit. <laughs> and just like that, we're dressed like a merchant. Sorry! As well you should be. Avoid the armored soldiers, they have no sense of humor. That somehow does not surprise me. 
Okay, now that we're dressed up like the merchant. Nope, not going that way. grandfather was a servant for the richest man in town. Merchant, right? You may proceed. With that, let's me roam around town a little more. Get that. Ha ha, asshole. I'm behind you now. Na 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 na. You can't see me. That one's polishing his armor, it looks like. Working on his armor. Okay, they have got that house guarded to the gills. Alright then, well... Being said, we're gonna come right up here. I don't think there's anything of use in the weapon and armor shop. Nope, nothing in here. Oh, serious. Just gonna go out the other door. Random NPCs are gonna be the death of me. All right, now you saw this soldier up here wearing green a minute ago, didn't you? Can you guess what we're gonna do here? Hey, you, come back here. Scram, you blockhead. Officer, so guess what I'm gonna do here? Steal. Come on, come on, come on. Any other time I've played this game, Steel has worked on the first try every time. It's like it knows I'm recording. Let's see? Couldn't really? Really? Let's try this one more time. Tonic, finally. Stole his clothing, too! Here we go! These are a little too big, but they'll do. And he's running away. Alright. And now he's gone. I don't know where he went, but he's gone. All right, that being done, if I'm not mistaken, if I come talk to this guy, back to your post. Nope, it's not him. It's one of the soldiers around here I know if I go talk to him. Ah, it's the one by the Chocobo shop. Time's up. Good. I'll take a break. He's just going to walk away. He's going to go into the pub, which is actually where we're going to go next, but I'm going to take the back path. I know where I'm going. As you can tell, Shadow's no longer here. Down here is where I've been aiming to go. Hey you, come to steal my cider? You thief! <clears throat> That's treasure hunter. You ass! So you can guess the routine at this point. Let's see if it'll work on the first try. <sighs> Second try? Stole a plumed hat, I'll take it. Stole his clothing too. Here we go. These are a little tight, but the price was right. Pansy's running away just because I took their clothes. Took the old man's cider. Alright, now we go back and we visit said old man. Remember the guy said he'd only talk to us if we had some cider for him? Well, that's who we're going to see now. Think of it is though, you had to be dressed like a soldier to get this far, which means you had to steal. But to get the cider, then in order to get back in here, you had to be dressed as a merchant again, which is why you had to fight the merchant and steal from him. It's kind of a long and complicated thing, and it's really long and complicated if you have no idea what you're doing. Ah, cider. Whoa. Huh? Secret passage. 
There is one that leads to the rich man's house. Go downstairs and give my son the password. It's, uh, um, I forget. Okay. I'm trying to remember now. Is it courage? Rose? The password is... Courage. Secret entrance. I don't know why he just said secret entrance. But he did. So, let's go take a look at this secret entrance. We go down the stairs. Now, watch what happens. We miraculously travel underneath the entire length of the city. And here's where we pop up. I don't know as if I've been in here yet, so... An elixir. They always hide the elixirs in the clocks, and I don't get it. Okay, so we're going to go up here. Where are we? We're right there. We were behind there. We've already explored all this, so now we're going to come up into the house. The Imperial troops have turned this house into their headquarters. Those bastards! Now... If you didn't know where you were going... This is where things actually got really, really, or get really, really complicated. Wrong room. You're gonna come up here to this room. You're gonna walk in. You're gonna talk to this guy. Oh, what have I done? I betrayed the town and I didn't even need the money. Is that all he says? That is all he says. I guess I talked to him the last time he was here. He complained about a draft coming from behind this bookcase. Well, if you walk, Ding ding! You find a secret passageway. Now that we're down here... Change clothes. Get out of them dadgum merchant's clothes. Oh, we're taking a look inside this door. I've seen her before, of course! She's one of the Empire's generals. They're not treating her much like a general. I've beaten the crap out of her. Ah, uh, this is what happens to traitors. Product of genetic engineering, battle hard Magitech Knight with a spirit as pure as snow. Ooh, sorry about that, folks. Now again, y'all know how I am. I hate the all caps name, so... L. S. Celis. Or Celeste. You know, Celeste makes a lot more sense. Celeste. That's her name, Celeste. So the mighty Celeste has fallen. How can you serve those cowards? Hold your tongue! Isn't it true that Kefka's going to poison the people of Doma to the east? Shut up! And there he goes with another hit, and she couldn't take any more. I'd hate to be in your shoes tomorrow. Keep a close eye on her. Yes, sir. I can go for days without sleep. Famous last words of a fool. Uh-oh. Locke's gonna get discovered. Where is he? All right. Tiptoe in here. You don't want to know what's probably in that bucket, folks. Remove her chains. And you are? I'm with the Returners. Name's Locke. Returners? I used to be General Celeste. Now I'm just a common traitor. Let's go. You take me along? Thanks, but no thanks. I can barely walk. I'm grateful, but even if you got me out, you'd never be able to protect me. No, I think I'm better off here. I'll protect you. Trust me, you'll be fine. Haha, <laughs> he winked at her. Let's go. Wait. The soldier has something important on him. Okay, and with that, we now have a new party member. Celis, who joins us at level 16. 
who has no equipment whatsoever. So you're kind of in a bad spot here. So I'm just going to give her kind of the dredges of what I have. Just to boost her defense a bit. As for her on relics, I typically give her the white cape. And I really don't want to give her that dad gum. True Knight, I guess she'll just have to be with the white cape for right now. It's like I said, you're kind of in a bad spot when you get her because you don't really have any good equipment. So now we're going to walk over here to this knight. Or... It's a clock key in his pocket. Take it. Took the clock key. Oh, crap! And some bread, too, humble. And back to sleep he goes. Woo! Thought we were goners there for a second. Alright. In this room should be a save point. Ding ding. Walk up here to the save point. Now my goal is to completely clear the scenario with Locke in this episode, which is what I'm gonna do. There's no point in doing two parts to this episode. Okay, we're gonna save. There's Celeste down on the bottom screen wagging the finger at us again. I don't understand why they do that. Why is it so bad that we're saving? Why is it so funny when we do save? I don't get it. I'm probably going to talk about this every time we save, so you might as well just get used to it. Anyway. Alright, let's move forward. If I'm not mistaken, once we get down in here, we're actually going to start getting random battles. Oh, nope, not yet. Nothing in there. If I'm not mistaken, these treasure chests are empty. Oh, nope, 500 GP. 1,000 GP. If one of these has got 1,500 and the other one's a dud. Empty. 1,500 GP. Okay, nothing in that pot, nothing in that pot, nothing in that pot, nothing in that pot. An old clock, it's not ticking. Wind the clock. Look at that. Opens the passageway. Now let's see what it says if we check this clock. An old clock, it's ticking. Okay, now's where the random battles start. This area is a little confusing. Iron armor, that's a boost for Celis. They give you equipment in this area for her. But like I said, for the time being, when you get her, I would highly advise you equip her with whatever you've got handy. Because if you don't, she's gonna get her she's gonna get her ass handed to her in battle. I'm mistaken, there's a secret passage inside one of these passages. It leads to a sword. Commander. Oh, lovely, three of them just lay into him as quickly as we can. See, I mean, compared to Locke, she's already taking a fair chunk of damage. You jackass! You attacked me twice! 459 GP. Man, money is good in this game, I'm telling you. Okay. Gotta go up this way. I'm waiting to run into a vector mud, if I'm not mistaken. Vector pup. I was right. Pretty strange that I can remember these names after all these years. <sighs> Sorry, folks. Taking a drink of coffee. I know it's like 5.45 in the afternoon and I'm drinking coffee. But it doesn't have the effect on me it does most people. The caffeine doesn't keep me awake. I just like the taste of it. Alright. Impression there's a hidden passageway somewhere. In a hidden passageway. I know that probably sounds strange, but... My memory hasn't failed me so far when it's come to this game, so... <sighs> Sorry, folks. I want to get the full experience for both of these guys. I gotta heal after this fight, man. Haha. 
Ha, got both the vector pups that time. Ooh, critical hit. Gotta like it. Okay, let's open the menu. I want to avoid using magic because MP comes in handy. So we'll make do with tinctures. There we go. Still got 75, so obviously I still got plenty. Regal Cutlass, that's what it is. Sell us. The Regal Cutlass gives her a nice boost to her attack power. Heavy Shield boosts her defense even further, so that helps. With that being said... Way down, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Two Vector Pups. With her new weapon, she should hopefully be able to one-shot these things now. Yes. Alright, let's get up here. Oh, okay, this is going to take a minute. It has been a while since I played this, I'm not going to lie. It may take me a whole minute to remember where to go, but I'll get there. Nothing else, y'all get to laugh at me in the process, right? Thought there was a passageway there. Nothing up here. I'd much rather be safe than sorry and miss something good. Alright, three commanders? Really? Can't it just be two or one? Oh, well, I'm fixing to take out two of the three right away, so... Grudge, that's gonna hurt. Ah, she blocked the second hit, though! That's good. Like I told you on one of the previous videos, you hear the little... ding sound, and you'd see their shield pop up. It's really useful. what we got here. Earrings. That's the other accessory I put on her. Raises magic damage. More powerful if paired. Well, I only have one right now, so that's going to be what she gets. Another random battle. Nuts! Vector Pup and Commander. Not real worried about getting a full experience, so I'm just going to waylay them. Worst that's going to happen is that other Vector Pup's going to run. I don't think he'll get a chance, so I think Block will outspeed. Yep. 170 EXP, 319 GP. Anyway, we're up out of the basement now. Why are you helping me? You remind me of someone. What's it matter anyway? I just want to, okay? Alright, we've made it outside the village. Now, we're gonna head north. We're gonna try to head north. Able to take down the grease monkeys in one shot a piece now. 512 GP, goodness! I wish I could earn this kind of money on Dragon Quest 8, man. It would make grinding so much easier. K 
Okay, y'all remember how I told you not to get the treasures in this cave? Remember how I told you there was a reason? This is the reason. If you leave them alone, if I'm not mistaken, when you come back with Celis, Celeste, rather, and Locke, they're actually more powerful versions of what they were to begin with. No, we do not want to save there. We want to save here. All right, data saved. Let's go ahead and head through this cave now. See what we get. And in we go. All right, we're in the cave now. All right, up a step. Oh, nope, I thought maybe I'd make it, but I didn't. Them's the brakes. It's not like the enemies in here. Oh, wait, yes, that's right. I forgot to tell you. The enemies in here get stronger now. So they're not like the little Rodox and all them you were fighting when you were in here before. No. They are now souped up enemies. They do more damage. They give more EXP. But they are souped up enemies. So, with that being said, let's explore to our heart's content. Over here. Treasure. Ah, come on! I was two steps away from that treasure chest. Gotta watch out for the golden bear. Uh-huh. I knew we were gonna run into one. You gotta take these things down quick, because they will steal your money and then run away. Thankfully, I'm strong enough to be able to take them down relatively quickly. I remember the first time I played this game and I didn't build up at all. My goodness. I was getting my butt handed to me. An X potion. See what I'm saying? That would have not been an X potion earlier in the game. No way, Jose. Sorry. That's saying down here in the south. I try to avoid using too many southern sayings. Earn 30 GP. Seriously, I went like three steps, and you're gonna hit me with another random battle? You're being a butthead today, game. You really are. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and just target this gold bear from the get go this time. We gotta heal after this fight again. And there we go. The pre mord or the prime ward, something like that. 125 EXP, 300 GP. I did want to ask y'all something though. In all honesty, do y'all want to continue to see games from like the PS1, PS2 era up on here? Or would you prefer seeing newer games? The o my only issue with doing newer games is 9 times out of 10 newer games are still under copyright. And it makes it to where I can't monetize my videos like I like to. So if y'all want to see more new games, that's fine. But my newer games, I think I'm actually going to do over on my Twitch channel. Which I'm in the process of getting set up right now, so you'll have to bear with me on that. But once I get Twitch set up and everything, you'll probably start seeing me do broadcasts of newer games like PS4, Xbox One, stuff like that. I'll probably actually also start doing live streams of older games eventually too, but the thing of it is, is I've got to wait until I can get a better PC. So right now my PC is a starter PC, it's nothing fancy. I gotta wait until I can afford to get a better computer, which may not be until next year at this point. I mean... Unless y'all, like, come out in a huge rally cry of support and just turn me into an overnight sensation, which I'd appreciate, but I'm a realist. I realize that 
realistically speaking, that probably won't happen. It's going to take me a while to build a fan base. I'm, I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to be one of my idols overnight. You know, I'm not going to be the King Nappy or, or Chugga Conroy, Shady Penguin, Masain Ala. I'm not going to be one of them overnight. They've all had to do their dues same as I, or pay their dues same as I am. Starting up at the bottom is a nobody. But just seeing how far they've come in the relative short amount of time they've been doing stuff on YouTube gives me hope. You know, the, these people are my idols when it comes to this, and they're part of the reason I got into this. Older games that I know I can beat in, you know, three, four hours, no problem. We'll do live streams on Twitch. And who knows? Maybe once I get that Twitch set up, maybe I'll even start doing face cam along with it. Y'all be able to put a face to the voice, huh? Huh? Sounds exciting? Maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. These are all just plans for the future. Anyway, now I'm done talking for the time being. Got another random battle here. Another gold bear and another prime ward. Go after the bear first. All right, gold bear is down. Take care of the prime ward. Now, we are fixing to get into a boss fight. Fortunately, this boss fight will be made relatively simple by a mechanic that will be explained at the start of it. But before we get into this boss fight, I am actually going to equip Locke with the gauntlet to boost his attack power. You'll understand why in a couple minutes. I thought there was a shortcut to the relic menu, the equip menu, but I guess not. Now, for this fight, I'm going to take off the Star and I'm going to put on the Gauntlet. It's going to say, Optimum Equipment Change. As you can see, my battle power skyrocketed to 180. That's a lot of damage. I mean, seriously, that is a lot of damage. For this early in the game... Okay, so... We're going to walk down here, and we're going to get into... a boss fight. Huh? Something's coming out of the wall! How we missed that when we were just up by the wall, I don't know, but we did. All right, here we have got the tunnel armor. Tunnel armor! I'll draw its magic attack. It won't hurt us. Come again? I can simply absorb the attack with my runic blade. Are you sure you'll be okay? Just you watch. Okay, we're gonna have him. She is on runic this whole fight. As long as she's using runic, if he casts a magic spell, it ain't gonna touch us. But he's also doing physical attacks, as you just saw. So, in my opinion, of course he does a magic attack now. To throw an antidote on Celis. Of course he does. Douchebag, you know that? You're being a douche now. Taking another shot at him with lock. Fire. She'll absorb that with her runic blade. And it'll actually heal her a little bit. You know what? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and have her use runic again because I'm pretty sure this shot should drop him. Yep. Like I said, the mechanic would be explained at the beginning of this battle. It, ba battle? Battle? What the hell was that? Battle. Runic is useful against enemies you know are going to use magic. There are a few of them in the game that do, but it's few and far between. So in my opinion, it's kind of one of those things that's... Whew! Looks like we're in the clear. It's kind of one of those things that's useless almost. Making it out of that cave. Choose a scenario. Kupo. We're now back here to choose another scenario. But, like I said, 
I was just going to run through lock scenario in this episode. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and save here. We're going to go down to slot one, of course. We're going to go to file two. We're going to save. I want to thank y'all wa for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please, please, please hit that like and subscribe button down below. I appreciate all your support, and I'll keep bringing you quality content as often as I can. If you want to keep up with me, know the comings and goings on this channel. Subscribe to my Twitter account and my Facebook account. There'll be a link to both down in the description. With that being said, I am Slaying Asher. I'm going to get out of here for today. Y'all have a fantastic day, and we'll see you on the next episode.